Kathy here from Kathy's Food Creations. Today I'm going to do the orange peel quilt. I'm going to make it the traditional way, the very first way that I learned how to make it, which is through applique. I like box out because I'm going to make the pattern. I'll show you here in a minute, but I did get this fabric right here because I think this is cute. And it's by Minartech. Let's show you some of these pieces here. That's just going to be a plain white. This is sort of a yellowish grip here. There we go. White on white, which I actually have that fabric. And then let's get down here. These are this kind of solids here. I mean, they got, you can see they got little stripes in them. And then we have some, there we go. That's what I'm looking for right here. These little strips. Okay, so there you go. That. And I just think these are really neat looking. I don't know what they're representing. And then the leaves. And there's some dots. But it's got a lot of really neat looking colors. Here's a purple. And so this is what I'm going to make. Um, let me get the pattern real quick for you. Hold on one second. In case you don't remember or you haven't seen the video. Put this glare off there. That's the pattern. And like I said, I'm going to make it the old fashioned way because I can't be given the information since that was in my box. Now you can go to her website, Maxi Makes, and see if you can buy that pattern if you want to see how to put it together that way. <clears throat> I am going to go ahead and make it with the fabrics that I got in my box, but I thought that with this set of fabrics, which I just think is adorable, and I've had these for quite a while because I did not really know what to do with them, but when I saw that pattern, I knew right off the bat that this fabric right here, <clears throat> excuse me, was gonna really work for that. So I'm going to pick some of these out. I'll probably, I don't know if I want to make an entire quilt or, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll split this up and do a couple of different things. Maybe I'll use some of this fabric for the other way that that is and make it. But I just thought these looked really, really good. This fabric's here. But let me tell you how I, let me move this aside here and tell you how I did it, or how I'm doing it, because I haven't even done it yet, but yeah, let's set that aside. So this is what I did. Get all this stuff off the table. All right, so you can see my line there. So first what I did was I decided to make my fabric squares are 10 inch, so I thought, well, all right, I'm going to try to make a 8 inch. I call this a football. I don't know what, uh, that's what it reminds me of. So all I did was I drew an 8. First I took my paper probably see that it's folded right here at the top on my fabric folded it up so that I wouldn't so I have an idea how long it is then I drew an 8 inch line straight down the middle then I tried to make it uh, even on both sides so I put a little mark I drew one side voila. so I laid it on the piece of cardboard that came from the bottom of the fabric there because I don't want to be damaging my light and all I'm doing is tracing this one side that I have done So that I can see it. Then I'm folding it in half on the line, making sure it's already dry, it's not wet. Turn on my light table here. So you can see it right here. I'm holding, pushing down the paper. And now I'm going to draw the other side. No reason you can't watch me cut it. Okay. Just holding the paper down. Putting a lot of pressure on it to go through the There we go, and there we have it. Not perfect, but it'll work. Let me get some pieces laid out here and I'll cut them out. I'm gonna make my mind what I wanna put on the top of these, and then I'll be right back. So this is what I ended up doing. I'm cutting my background out of all white. They have bubbles on them. I got my ruler out because I'm going to cut either two and a half or two inch 
uh, off the corner of the fabric that I've chosen. Here's the fabrics. I've taken them all. I ironed them up. I folded them a half. I can get two out of each piece of fabric and then in the corner here is where I'm going to cut out either two, yeah, it's probably going to be a two inch square. I could probably do two and a quarter. But that's what I've chosen. Now I'm going to cut out my oval shapes first and I'm going to go from there and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Well, here I realized I had forgotten to show you how I cut out the fabric. So that's what I'm doing in this clip here. I'm using my small rotary cutter because I found it was a lot easier when I did my cutting out for, these, uh, for this project anyway. stack over there and then what I've done is I took the corner here and you can see how it's got these or pinking it's been they used the pinking shears to keep it from unraveling so I'm cutting that off so that when I do my square on the corners it's not a distraction whoops let's go this way with it so all I'm doing is just cutting it off just enough that my corner can get done and then I went ahead and I just put regular tape. This is some pink tape that I have. It's marking. I just marked it so that I can cut it bigger than the two inch, but not as big as a two and a half because I can only go so far up and then I've, I'm out of fabric. Line it up best I can. And then down with it. And then there's my corner. Whoops. The corner in it. Two of them. And that's it. I'll put the fusible on the back side, cut a hole, turn it inside out. But I'll show you how to do that if you don't remember how to do it or you're just now tuning in for the first time. I'm going to use feather weight machine wash, warm and tumble, dry medium or dry clean. It's 90% polyester, 10% nylon. I'm taking a piece of this here, getting the size of it, and then cutting so that I've got one for every single one and we just oversize it a little bit and then I'm going to show you we'll trim it down afterwards and you can see the little white bumps on there that is the sticky side well that's a little blue so what you're going to do well what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and with the right side together on the fabric I'm going to put it on top and I'm going to sew all the way around it then I'm going to clip it and turn it inside out so that the sticky ends up on the outside and then you can iron it down on your fabric and it'll stay there while you go around your fabric. Here's the one that I've done, the very first one. The wrong side is facing up against this. Now you take this and you're going to grip it here and pull it apart like that and you're going to snip it. take your scissors all you're doing is making a hole in it now I went around the edge barely let's see if you can see that in the camera there so now what you would do is you can either use your rotary cutter or your scissors and I'm going to use my scissors and I'm just going to go all the way around the outside of the oval while it hasn't been flipped yet because it is all the way, it's sewn all the way around. There's no openings or anything. You don't have to leave an opening to flip it or anything. All you're doing is taking off this excess so it won't be bulky inside when you flip it. Now you take this and you're going to turn it inside out. I guess I could make that hole bigger because it's not like we need it. Yeah. 
you could actually, if you want to, you can cut all this excess out. It doesn't make any difference. All you need is a little piece in order to hold it onto your fabric. And when you turn this inside out, you'll need to poke your little holes in the corner to get it out. You can't iron this because if you do, once you've ironed it, it's going to be stuck for good. So just use your fingers like I'm kind of like rolling it and trying to push down on it because I don't want any of this uh, white interfacing showing. So I just roll it like this. Kind of funny, I got white up at the tip right where I needed the color, but that's okay. Just poke it out like that. And there we go. And just take your time. And if you're not very good at drawing and you want to do this, you can actually, I'm going to have to sew around this tip because I see it's come off the, off the thing. Okay, so there you go. There's this football shape. And all you do, and you put this caddy corner on your square because you're going to pick one of these little squares that you made here. Like this one would be really nice. And you're going to do, remember the snowball is where you take it and you mark it underneath and then you attach it. Let me move this out of the way here so that it ends up being like that on your square. Pick it up a bit. So we'll have one each, or we'll have two of these on a square. All right, I'm back with a quick update to give you an idea of what I've done. <clears throat> so I find that if you only cut a slice through the middle and you can see where that's cut and flip it it's a lot easier also when you do flip it go ahead and take your whichever tool you have if, if you, my fingers weren't working so I thought I'd take my little wooden <clears throat> iron is what they're referring to it and just go along here and press it down it's working a lot better than the other block that I made so whichever is best for you, and then that's it. I just wanted to give you that idea that this one's working a lot better than the last one. Okay? And that was it. And then I'll be back when I get them all finished. And I have all of the ovals ironed on. And I have attached all these. Here it is, the finished product. I'm going to try to show you from top to bottom. You got it hanging on the design wall. I made two of them. Hope you like them. They turned out pretty good. Now, I do not have the um, orange peels. Those are still ironed on. Those have not been applied yet. I'm going to be doing the quilting and everything here pretty soon. I haven't decided yet whether I want to make two single units or if I want to connect them. So how about making a comment Tell me what you think. Do you think they'd be better off to be single and have a border all the way around them? Or do you think it would be better to connect these two and then put a border all the way around it? So leave a comment. Let me know. And I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe. And I will see you the next time. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody's views. Bye-bye.